Hello friends, it's time for our small group activity and we're going on a treasure hunt. All right friends, so this activity is called Buried Shapes and it, the objective is to explore and describe, describe spatial relationships and shapes. So what you will need is three um, containers. Um, this is like um, a Rubbermaid type container, uh, rectangle shaped. Um, you can use, it doesn't have to be this big, it can be a small, um, a small shape or whatever. Then you're going to label one with triangles, one with circles, and then one with rectangles. Then you're going to need um, those shapes. And I have just cut out um, these shapes from different uh, from pieces of paper. So you want a variety, so like different um colors, different sizes of the triangle, the rectangle, and the, oops, dropping some, the circle. So just as you can see, I just have different, different sizes, different colors um, there. These are going to be buried in a tub of sand. So um, if you have the plastic, like they call them attribute blocks, um, but they're just plastic and they have their flat um, shapes. Those would work the best. But if this, if paper is all you have, you can do construction paper and then you can get contact paper at the dollar store, which would be similar to laminating it. So um, you can do that so they kind of hold up a little bit better. And then um, a small, um, like a paintbrush or um I don't know you want probably like a medium size you know you don't want a big paint like you're painting but maybe a medium size you don't want a little tiny one so that's the materials you need so what you're gonna do like I said is you're gonna put the shapes in the sand and then the child is going to hunt for the shapes and then when they find them they're gonna put them in the right bin so you can use um, the bins, baskets, whatever you have handy, okay? So what you're gonna do is going to demonstrate. So I'm gonna demonstrate here. A circle has, a, has curved lines. A circle has curved lines. Round and round, it never stops. A circle has curved lines. And so you're you're showing this, um, this curve here. Okay, then we have the rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four sides. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides. Okay, so you can identify that. And then the last one, a triangle has three sides. A triangle has three sides. Up the hill and down and back, the triangle has three sides. So that's just a cute, fun little way to remember the, um, the different, you know, what the shapes look like. You know, so a circle has curved lines. A rectangle has four sides. Triangle has three sides. Okay. So that's just a um, little songs to help you remember what um, the shapes are. So um, then you would have them gently with the brush um, move the sand in the sandbox and see if they can find a shape and have them tell you, you know, what does the sand look like? What does it? whatever. And then um, ask them when they find a shape, you know, how did you decide where to put it? Um, what type of treasure did you find? 
meaning um, the shape. So um, why did they put it in that container and um, what did they find? So once the treasure is found, empty the treasure chest to verify that each one contains the correct shapes. Allow the children to make changes if necessary. Explain that the blocks and brushes will be available during choice time. That's not applied to you. I'm sorry. So just, um, yeah, have them um, look for the treasure and ask them why they put it, you know, what made them put it in that container and that kind of thing. So... Um, to differentiate, um, for your beginners, you're going to use only basic shapes. Um, so I would start with the triangle, the circle, and the rectangle. Um, name the shape the child finds and then talk about its attributes. So they find the triangle, you would say, oh, this is a triangle. It has three sides and three points. Um, something like that. So just um, identify the shape. Um, let's see. Then you can invite, the next level would be invite the child to name each shape he or she finds and ask the child to describe the shape before placing it. So just like we sang in the song, the circle, they would want you would want them to say that they have, um, it has curved. Um, okay. And then... Let's see, the next level, after the child finds a shape and puts it in the right chest, prompt the child to point to or name objects that are similarly shaped. So um, if you have other objects close by, you can say, oh, hey, what is, you know, what looks like the circle? Like what's close by that looks like a circle? Or what do you know that looks like a triangle and rectangle? Okay, and then next, incorrectly name the shape that your child finds. When the child corrects you, ask him to explain how he knows what the shape is. So you say the wrong shape and see if they correct you. That's always fun. And then lastly, encourage the child to sort the shapes into additional categories, so by size. So um, that's why it was important to do different sizes. Um, different types of triangle or rectangle and have them explain why they sorted them that way. All right, so questions to think about while you're doing this activity and report back to your teacher. Which shapes did the child recognize and describe? Did the child sort the shapes into the right boxes? Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below, and I will see you on the next video.